The rivalry between Colfax and Placer in girls volleyball is matched by very few in the Sacramento region. So with the intensity of the crowds on both sides and the players ready to go, the showdown was set at Earl Crab Gym on Thursday night. Heartstrings would be tugged too as Vicki Satterley would be coaching her last match as a visiting coach at the historic gym for Colfax. After 26 years as the head coach, the crowd was set, the players were set, the coaches were set for this one. Oh, it's great. I love this. This is, this is what we look forward to. This is this one and the river. But we're looking forward to this all week, so it's big. Garrett, who led Plaza with 14 kills on Thursday night, said the team was pumped up even in pregame warm-ups thanks to the crowd and the rivalry. Placer got off to an early 7-2 lead in the first set en route to a 25-13 victory to take a 1-0 lead over Colfax in the first. On the final point of the first set, here's Capri Pele with the nice kill for Placer as Lady Hillman take an early 1-0 lead. Early in the second set, both teams battled back and forth. Placer pulled away for a 25-20 win to take a decisive 2-0 lead against Colfax. The Lady Falcons wouldn't go down without a fight midway through the third. Colfax ties it up here 14-14 and led by, by a career night by Evie Sweet. She had 11 kills for the Falcons. They take the third 25-21. Maddie Itner chipped in with nine kills, 20 digs and two aces for the Lady Falcons. And Sophie Satterley led Colfax with 31 assists, but in the fourth, despite a 9-3 lead by Colfax, Raquel Chiarte at the net. Big hit here for Placer. Nice dig by Taylor Avila. Chiarte comes right back this one. Colfax couldn't handle as Placer would reel off the fourth set. 25-16 here and take the 3-1 victory over Colfax. Placer improves to 3-0 in PVL action. Colfax is their first loss. They fall to 2-1-1. Great matchup by both teams. How much did your emotions play into the start of this, the third set, and especially that, that comeback in the fourth? Uh, it was a big part because it's Colfax and like Placer. It's like a big, big rivalry. And like it just gets you pumped. It gets you energized after every point. Just coming with your team and celebrating. much did or does emotion always play into this rivalry match? It's, it is huge in this match. I, mean, I think you saw it firsthand here tonight where, you know, we were, we were on fire and really intense and our emotion was crazy in those first two games and I think they turned it on in the third game and their emotion was up and we were down and it's, it changed that game, so, or it changed, yeah, the outcome of that game. So I think the fact that we could pull it back together in the fourth, you and Vicky have had a rivalry for years. This is, you know, the 26th and last time that she'll coach as a visiting coach here in Earl Craft. How big is that knowing that, you know, you've been a part of, you know, that legacy here in Placer County for so long going against her? Well, you know, when I came up here, I that was one of the first things I found out about was, you know, Vicky at Colfax and they're this great this great program and it's been like that for the last eight years. I mean, even when she graduates five seniors or something and she always says, well, we're kind of down. It doesn't matter. They always come to play and it's always a really good match. Off the heels of this rivalry victory over Colfax, the Lady Hillman 3-0 will play 3-0 Bear River on Tuesday. And in Auburn, reporting for the Auburn Journal, I'm Trevor Horn.